The First World War ended in 1918, leaving Europe devastated. The continent was in ruins, with millions of lives lost and economies shattered. The Treaty of Versailles in 1919 imposed harsh penalties on Germany, crippling its economy. The treaty demanded reparations that Germany could barely afford, leading to widespread poverty and resentment. The Great Depression in 1929 hit Germany hard, exacerbating the already dire economic situation. This economic collapse led to massive unemployment and social unrest, creating fertile ground for radical ideologies. This allowed extremist movements like the Nazi Party, which promised solutions to Germany's woes, led by Adolf Hitler, to gain support. Hitler's charismatic leadership and promises of a better future resonated with the desperate populace. Hitler promised to restore Germany's glory, appealing to national pride and a sense of lost honor, using propaganda and scapegoating minorities to unite the people against common enemies. Totalitarian regimes also rose in Italy and Japan during the 1930s, posing significant threats to global peace and stability. By the mid-1930s, Europe was a powder keg, with tensions running high and alliances forming. Hitler defied the Treaty of Versailles, rebuilding Germany's military and openly challenging the post-war order. In 1938, he annexed Austria without resistance, signaling imminent war and demonstrating the failure of appeasement. Europe was on the brink of another conflict, with the world watching anxiously as events unfolded. On September 1, 1939, Germany invaded Poland, starting World War II. Hitler's blitzkrieg tactics quickly overwhelmed Poland. France and Great Britain declared war on Germany, but were slow to act. The Soviet Union also invaded Poland, sealing its fate. A period known as the Phony War followed, with little fighting. In April 1940, Germany attacked Denmark and Norway, securing vital bases. By May 1940, Germany unleashed its full fury on Western Europe. The war had truly begun. Germany swiftly overran Western Europe, including France. The British Expeditionary Force was evacuated from Dunkirk. Britain, led by Winston Churchill, stood alone against Nazi Germany. The Battle of Britain saw the Royal Air Force fend off the Luftwaffe. Meanwhile, Japan expanded its empire in Asia. On December 7, 1941, Japan attacked Pearl Harbor, propelling the U.S. into the war. The U.S. entry made the conflict truly global. Germany and Italy declared war on the U.S solidifying the Axis alliance. The world was now in a fight for survival against fascism. The stakes had never been higher. The tide turned in 1942 with key Allied victories. The Battle of Stalingrad marked the beginning of the end for Germany in the East. In the Pacific, the US won a decisive victory at Midway. In North Africa, Allied forces defeated the German Africa Corps. This led to the Allied invasion of Italy in 1943. D-Day on June 6, 1944, saw Allied forces land in Normandy. The liberation of France began, marking the start of Nazi Germany's downfall. The Allies were gaining ground on all fronts, the Axis powers were on the defensive, victory was within reach. Allied forces advanced from the west, and the Soviet Red Army pushed from the east, creating a pincer movement that overwhelmed German defenses. Germany's defenses crumbled under the relentless assault, and Berlin fell in April 1945, signaling the imminent end of the war in Europe. Hitler committed suicide in his bunker, and Germany surrendered on May 7, 1945, marking VE Day, a moment of triumph and relief for the Allied forces. In the Pacific, the US pushed Japan back through brutal island battles, each one more fierce and costly than the last. Despite heavy losses, Japan refused to surrender, leading to the controversial decision to use atomic bombs in an effort to end the war swiftly. On August 6, 1945, Hiroshima was bombed, followed by Nagasaki on August 9, causing unprecedented destruction and loss of life. Faced with such devastation, Japan surrendered on August 15, 1945, bringing an end to World War II and marking VJ Day. The use of atomic bombs remains controversial to this day, sparking debates about the ethics and necessity of such actions. The war had finally come to an end, leaving the world to grapple with its aftermath and the dawn of a new era. World War II was the deadliest conflict in history, claiming millions of lives and leaving a profound impact on the global psyche. The war left Europe and Asia in ruins, reshaping the political landscape and altering the course of nations forever. 
In response to the devastation, the United Nations was established to maintain international peace and prevent future conflicts. The US and the Soviet Union emerged as superpowers, leading to a tense and prolonged Cold War that divided the world into two ideological camps. The war spurred significant technological advancements, from radar to jet engines, and brought about profound social changes. It accelerated the push for civil rights and equality, as marginalized groups demanded recognition and justice. The legacy of World War II continues to shape our world, influencing international relations and domestic policies. It serves as a stark reminder of human capacity for both good and evil, urging us to reflect on our actions. Diplomacy and cooperation are crucial in preventing future conflicts, fostering a more stable and peaceful world. The lessons of the past must guide us towards a better future, ensuring that such a devastating conflict never occurs again.